Hey everybody, it's another little wing bite, just a little taste of this and that, and today I'm canning salsa. One, because I love salsa. Two, because I love salsa a lot. And three, because I want to make salsa all the time and it's nice to have it already jarred and canned as opposed to having to make it fresh each time, which is very cool. And for that reason, I'm actually using very small eight ounce jars because it allows me to make a lot of it and then have these individual jars for one time servings. Anyway, uh, before we get started, just a reminder, please subscribe to my YouTube channel. You'll get more recipes, craft ideas, travel tips, even restaurant reviews, all in the same spot. Just click on the subscribe button and the reminder bell so you always know when new videos are coming out. Now here's what I have to make my salsa. I've got all these wonderful ingredients. I've got some green peppers, I've got tomatillos, I've got jalapenos, I've got garlic, white onions, tomatoes. I've also got some spicy hot sauce here, some lime juice, and some cider vinegar. Now I went to the Ball website for some basic recipe ideas and then I decided to modify it based on my taste. So the very first step is going to be to peel my tomatoes. So let's get started. Fill a pot with water and bring it to a boil. Then cut a small X on the bottom of your tomatoes and place them in the boiling water for about 45 seconds. Then remove them and let them cool for a bit and the skin will peel right off, just like that. Then you're gonna core them, chop them, and place them in a bowl. Next, you'll remove the husks from the tomatillas and simply wash them. You know, I really love tomatillos. They've got a nice little tart flavor. They just add so much to a salsa. Really, really good. Chop them up. And then I put gloves on to chop the jalapenos because those oils stay on my fingers forever. Well, I've taken care of my fingers for the jalapenos. Now I'm gonna take care of my eyes uh, for the onions. These are actually really good and they keep me from tearing up. So I chop the onions. Then I chop the green peppers. And finally the garlic. Now we're actually gonna make our salsa. I'm gonna take all these ingredients and put them into a large pot here my onions and my peppers and all these goodies, along with my jalapenos and my tomatoes and tomatillos. Everybody goes in. That is quite a combination. Now to that I'm adding three-fourths of a cup of cider vinegar, one and a half teaspoons of salt, one and a half teaspoons of cumin, one teaspoon of Louisiana hot sauce. You can use whatever type of hot sauce you like and one tablespoon of lime juice. I'm gonna stir all that together, bring it to a boil, and I'm gonna simmer it for about 10 minutes. Now as this cooks down, you wanna keep stirring it so it all boils at the same time together. Now while my salsa is simmering, I'll prepare my jars. Fill a large pot with water and add a rack to the bottom if you have one. I place my jars in the water, then bring it to a simmer. Wash the collars and lids in warm soapy water and then rinse them thoroughly. So my salsa is ready and my jars have been simmering in hot water behind me. To start canning, I'll carefully lift and drain each jar. So I bring my jar over here. I'll put my little collar on top so I don't spill a lot. And I'll take a nice portion of my salsa, pour it right inside. And I'll pour a tiny bit more just so I get to about a half an inch from the lid. And I'll check it with my little measuring thing here, that that's right at a half an inch. And then what I'll do is I will clean the rim, and the jar is hot, so be careful. And I'll use this to hold on to the jar. And I'll take one of my clean lids and the collar, and I'll just tighten it up. And you just want to hand tighten it. It doesn't have to be really tight. And I'll take this, put it back in my hot water. Once all the jars are filled, bring the pot to a boil, cover it, and then boil the jars for 15 minutes. And here are all my jars. You may hear a little pop when you're bringing them out of the water. That just means the seal is working, which is a very good thing. And you should be able to like push on these. If they don't move at all, that means they did seal the way they were supposed to. Now I was able to make 12 of my little eight ounce versions of my salsa, including some for the chef. Not bad. Hey, all the information you need is in the information section down below, including links to some of the gadgets I use during this segment. Also, let me know what you think. Thumbs up, thumbs down, and leave me your comments. I'd love to hear what you think of this segment as well as other ones you'd like to see in the future. Thanks for spending time with me once again. Don't forget to subscribe, and we'll see you next time. Take care, bye.